Hi, welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne and I'm super sick and it's really hot in my house. I'm full of rage and I'm going to review Day of the Dead Bloodline because I'm a glutton for punishment and I hated the other remake. It's not a big secret that one of my favorite movies is a 1985 Day of the Dead. So here goes. The movie centralizes around our main character, Zoe, who is a med student, starts out with her, her hmm, determining cause of death for a cadaver, which we find out is H1N1. Then we go to her horrible encounter, which isn't the first one with Max, who is obsessed with her, does have her uh, name carved into his arm, and she's forced to deal with him pretty much because he has antibodies at 100% the normal level and you assume that they're trying to conduct some experiments with disease resistance or how to create vaccines something of that matter so cut to the party for all the med students Max does hide in the place and tries to rape her and it's really awkward and uncomfortable and the H1N1 cadaver pops up and does bite him, infects him, turns him into a zombie. Fast forward to five years, she's in a bunker that the whole place works closely with the CDC trying to collect data about how to combat the rotters as they're called. So one of the people in the bunker little kid has pneumonia. Zoe convinces the knockoff Captain Rhodes that she needs to go back to the school to get a bunch of antibiotics to prevent the pneumonia from spreading throughout the whole bunker because then presumably everyone would turn into a zombie because they'd all be dead. So while they're there she gets very nostalgic, finds a bunch of old photos from her childhood and while she's collecting them Zombie Max pops up out of nowhere and then gets her scent follows her back to the bunker. thing that bothered me about that was if it's supposed to be five years later, like why did he look so not decomposed, but whatever. So she determines that he is half rotter, half human, and proceeds to think she can somehow create a vaccine to turn everyone back normal from his blood somehow, whatever. So what did I like about this movie? The main character's name is Zoe, and my older sister's name is Zoe, and I love my sister. That's all I liked about this movie. So, there is a very non-believable romance between Zoe and her love interest, Baka. It is painful to watch. Horrible. The acting itself is horrible in this movie. It was like no one really cared that much. They were just not into it. They were just like, oh, yeah, so, Rodders, Max is here. Not good. I feel like the, the knockoff Captain Rhodes Miguel, like Captain Rhodes in the original day, you were kind of scared of him. You knew he was an authority figure. This dude, not so much. I think that the idea that they're was a, a high antibody count that could somehow reverse the zombie virus was an interesting idea. I think they could have executed it a lot better and they definitely could have chosen a different name and not tried to remake a movie that a lot of people love. Just not a good idea. But I hated it. It was a waste of almost two hours of my life that I'm never going to get back. So that's all I'm going to say about that. I guess if you really want to, you could check it out for yourself, but don't recommend it. So if you would please satisfy my sick self and like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for more notifications. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter at Reanimator Reviews. And thank you guys, and please don't watch this movie.